Hey guys, welcome back. Today we are reviewing the Broadway Limited Imports address changer. Now this is literally how you get your stuff, at least this is how I got it. And it comes out of the plastic here and you've still got a box that it's in. We're going to go ahead and unbox this item. Let's take a quick look to see what you get. Now, Broadway uh, Limited address changer, MSRPs for $79.99. However, you can get it online from anywhere from 60 to that MSRP of $79.99. Got a little tab I had problems with there, that's why we got off screen. But, this is the first time I'm pulling out of the box, so I don't know exactly what you get. Let's take a look. Looks like you got a manual, we will go through in a moment. And the address changer and its power supply. And some gel to keep the moisture out. Power supply is in here. Looked like it was taped in there, but it's not. More plastic to unwrap here. And you got a plastic foam across the top of the address changer, the program track pulls here, and the power import there. Input there. So, a little twisty tie on the power adapter and plug that in get this over to some power take a quick breather and we'll see what we're dealing with in this address changer so changing angles a little bit because the cord they provided is somewhat short we've got the power now connected this is to the program track these simply unscrew. There's a hole in this center pole. You stick the wire through, screw it down. That gives you a nice firm connection. And then you see 000 displayed on the address changer. Now up here in the left hand corner, you'll see an eight pin decoder plug-in. Now those are for the decoders, obviously the eight pins that you can program prior to installing them in your DCC locomotives, or if you've already got them installed, you pop it out and you want to change it. You don't have to go through the locomotive and the program track to do it. It does it directly through the decoder. I'm not able to test this feature out today, especially after the move and stuff in boxes, but we'll take a look at that down the road at some point. Now you've got two buttons here, read decoder, read track, and then you've got uh, the address to change the address to what you want, and the program button itself. Pretty simple interface and you are good to go. Now let's actually see if this works by pulling out a decoder and a, in a locomotive and seeing if we can change the address. Okay, just to be fair, I went ahead and pulled just a couple random locomotives, the first two I saw in my basement here. This is a Bachman DCC sound value locomotive. That is by Soundtracks. We're going to go ahead and pull that out of the box, put it on the track. I honestly do not remember what the address is, but the good news is you can hit read decoder and it should tell me, or read track, I'm sorry. Okay, so that's at address three. Now, let's go ahead and say we want to change this to address 4271, which is the cab number. I'm gonna go ahead and start changing the number. I just wanted to remove the plastic film here. Now, when you're going to put in an address, you wanna to press to select the address, you hit this button right here. Second button did it for me. I actually did that by accident without it recording. But now, you can start moving numbers. So let's go ahead and move this one up to four. It's one to two, seven, one, okay? And then once you've done all that, all you gotta do is hit the program button. Okay, now it says 4271. Now, honestly, you want to check this by checking your road number. I will go ahead and check this off camera in the essence of time, and if there's a problem, I'll report it back to you. But it says done. So I can always hit this read track button again. 
and see if it still comes up 3 or if it comes up 4271. That's the way to check it. And it's coming up 4271. So let's go ahead and call it a success on programming this DCC sound value, which is a sound tracks item. Let's go ahead and move on to the next random locomotive that I pulled, which is an ESU decoder. Now I had read on the internet that there's some problems programming an MTH locomotive. I have not been able to locate an MTH locomotive in my pile back there because again I just moved. So please research before you decide. But I've got this ESU lock sound locomotive here. These are two of the more common, two of the front runners I would say, in locomotives. So or in soundtracks, sound decoders. <laughs> Boy, it's been a long day. So sound decoders, decoders in general, Tsunami and ESU are the front runners. Like I said, I didn't really select these on purpose. I just found the first two I could find, but I did happen to pick the front runners, which will apply to a lot of you guys. Let's go ahead and read the track on this one, see what this says. Probably gonna get three again because this is one of my newer locomotives. Yep, three again. So now I can go ahead and program here. Now it says, there you go. So you hit that one time and it starts going into the program mode. This one is number 184, so we'll leave that at zero, that at one, eight, four. Program. I don't know, we'd have to look at the time, but that was probably 15, 20 seconds. It says none, but I think it means done. I don't know. <laughs> so 184. Now I'm going to go ahead and hit read track. Oh, it's saying none when you switch to read decoder because there is no decoder in there. That's why it says none. All right, let's go ahead and hit read track, see what it is now. One eighty four. So it appears to have worked on both of these locomotives. I'm going to go ahead and pause for a moment, double check without having to add time to your video, and then report back to you here with the findings and the wrap up. So I just take, took a quick look to make sure those two pro locomotives were programmed. They are indeed programmed, so I'm going to give you my final thoughts. MSRP 79.99. Who are the folks that would need this? Those folks that uh, either don't have DCC systems that are easy to use or want something separate you know, to their program track where their DCC system is not on their program track at all. The ESU ecosystem is sometimes a little different to actually use and program the locomotives, so it takes a little more time. This will give you more quickness in programming locomotives on almost anything I've seen. My MRC Prodigy Advanced Squared was fairly quick at programming locomotives, but I believe this even beats that because it's so user-friendly and so simple. So if you can get it in the $60 range, great, but the MSRP of $79.99 is where I see a lot of them because this was a pre-order item that they kind of stuck close to the pre-orders on. So they're a little harder to find than your standard stuff that you find from different manufacturers and locomotives and things like that. That's about it, guys. Hope you take a look at the Broadway Limited Imports address changer if you want to change addresses more simply or have a little more complicated DCC system. Thanks for watching as always, and we'll catch you next time right here on my channel. Take care.